two years. It's been two years, right? This is crazy. Um, no updates, people. Um, doing PT every now and again. I guess it's helping. Um, but yeah, but honestly, I think the whole mindset thing, you know, I, I built this desk last night, this like electric desk. I highly recommend it. It took me two hours and then I busted my head on the windowsill as I was trying to put it on or put it back. But I was very proud of myself, I have to say. Anyway, um, so yeah, so no real changes, to be honest. Not really doing any doctors. Um, hardly really take my medicine, even though I did reopen up the case and got the, um, the hydrocodone, I guess, refilled, I guess, but haven't really needed it recently. I did a few weeks before, um, but when I need it, I just let myself take it. Otherwise, I don't know, I'm doing okay. Don't have, knock on wood. Haven't really been doing much, but, um, haven't had a whole lot of pain in the neck. I am getting the bee sting sensations, like that burning, weird nerve pain again in some of my fingers, but it's inconsistent. So just knock on wood that, um, I don't know, it doesn't last and doesn't get worse. Uh, as you guys know, my name's Kim. I had ACDF surgery from C4. I always fuck that up, but um, C4 to C7 um, two years ago. I was going to actually make this last week or two weeks ago when it was actually my two year anniversary, but I've been sick. Um, so yeah, so here you go. Um, but yeah, everything is same old, same old. You guys are as always fabulous and consistent with reaching out. And I think it's just so amazing how many people are getting this surgery done and how many people have very similar symptoms. Um, I love hearing the stories where the people actually had the surgery and they are feeling great. For those of us that have had the surgery, whether it be one level, two, three, whatever it is, um, I had three levels. I know in the old um, videos, I was like C3 to C, th whatever. Don't know why I get flustered when I do this, um, but I have had C4 to C7. That is three levels. Um, I do need to have surgery above my fusion done as well as below, as well as in my lumbar, but all of that's gonna be held off as long as possible. Um, because it seems like I'm an interesting case where I have adjacent segment disease and everything else that seems to happen a little bit more advanced than other people. So I just turned 40 back at the end of July. So yay. Um, but uh, I don't know, like you guys have asked questions about do I have pain in my neck? Do I have pain here, there? Do I have these sensations? What I would say is there's a lot of videos that I made in the last two years. <laughs> sorry but not sorry you guys really seem to enjoy them but i would also say look at the comments a lot of people share their stories unfortunately i think what happens is when things don't go well we complain meaning it's almost like when you review um something when it doesn't go well you're more like motivated to write a bad review versus if it goes well you write a good review and if you remember some of my earlier videos i said i want to be the person that makes these videos to not just be like woe is me and don't get the surgery <laughs> two years later what happened but um all in all i think the surgery was worth it i i think it did save my mobility because it was pretty extensive and um the pain sucked and what i say all the time in these videos is if you really have no other option and you your quality of life is terrible your pain is all the time and you're starting to lose functioning it definitely is something that you want to look into if it's just pain that you're dealing with you're not going numb you're not getting weak um if you can find like good pain management options everyone here mentions things like diet exercise magnesium yoga swimming like all these things are great if you're like me even though i'm a therapist sometimes it's the whole do as i say not as i do like we know what we should be doing we know what might be helpful however when you're in it when you're in that pain you're in that frustration of any time that you make or like make some progress or you're moving around and then you have a relapse of pain or limited mobility it fucks with your head so you don't really want to do these things that people say are going to help you just got to stick with it you got to be disciplined the reality is they do help that's why everyone says like do them um so it's really up to you um do don't it's up to you 
Um, surgery only goes so far and a lot of times as we've learned is sometimes when you open up the spine you're gonna need more down the road. When? That's really um, an individual thing. I went to an orthopedic surgeon for my surgery and recently I've been interacting with a neurosurgeon. I've had EMGs done um, and like I said in that last video that was my almost two year is I had some follow-ups and the, the basic answers are you're sort of still the same, but you are degenerating at times or in areas. I'm sorry. I'm like watching this kid like scale the side of my neighbor's house. And like part of me is like, yes, go, go, go. And the other part of me is like, oh my God, if he falls, but I don't care. It's not my kid. and I don't like kids. So whatever. <laughs> um, all the kids are doing, they, all the kids got this like Spider-Man thing going on. Whatever. Let them be kids. Whatever. Anyway, I'm distracted. I just got done work. It is, it's September 1st. Hi, welcome to a new month. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up. Anyway, um, um, so I have no new news. You guys, I'm hoping that I'm answering everyone's questions. Like when you all send me comments, whether it's just like, you know, encouragement, keep it up, or you just want to share and commiserate because a lot of people don't get it. They don't know what the pain is like, or they see that you function one day, or they see that you push through the pain one day and the next day you're not. And then the whole like, it's in your head, you're being lazy. Like it's just whatever. So sometimes we just need like almost like this like support group where it's like, yeah, this fucking sucks. You're valid, your feelings are valid. And if you don't wanna do something, whatever. So I get it. Keep this going, keep this community going. Um, but as I said in the last video, not much new stuff to report. Um, so any specific questions that you have, I try answering everyone back. Um, and I try to be very, I guess, personal or personalized to each individual message since you take the time to write me. Um, but a lot of times it's just, you know, keep me posted. Um, if you're going through it and you just need someone to say, hey, I'm still alive, or hey, I'm still going through this, or hey, Kim, I tried this and it worked. like course let me know because everybody else is also hoping reading your comment and I think everyone can benefit so this is my two-year thing it kind of was like an obligatory kind of post but the last one that I made was like really everything so this is just me popping on to say I made it I survived I didn't kill myself joke but not joke but whatever you know you know um if you're struggling I'm sorry um I I, I get it and I know that Sometimes we get frustrated of always having to go to different doctors to like have a yet another person try to help us out, <clears throat> but don't give up on yourself and easier said than done. I know. So I'm hoping that you have some kind of support system, even if it's just a pet, just to kind of get you up and get you moving and what have you. But I'm going to literally keep it short and sweet this time. It is eight minutes at this moment. I'm going to keep it under 10 because I always go way too long. So I just want to say, Happy two years to me. Thank you for everyone that's new and has been following and for all the feedback, the encouragement, the suggestions. And for those of you that have just had it, I do truly, truly, truly hope that you're recovering well, you're feeling strong, you're following up with appropriate doctors, you're staying hydrated, you're eating the right food, you're moving around a little bit. And I really do hope that you have a very long, happy, pain free and mobility like freedom um, process so I do truly hope that you have it for those of you that are scared of having it go look at my other videos listen to other people's stuff and make your own decision because um, ultimately that's what it really comes down to if it's your choice it's gonna be your choice um, don't wait too long um, if you're in like a lot of pain and you're having issues don't wait um, but just be smart do as much research as possible this all seems like common sense but again sometimes we just need to take action one way or the other because our heads can be dangerous places um yeah i don't know that's all i got people uh you might see me around every now and again for those of you that have followed all of my professional pages kim Wright lcsw um on tiktok or instagram facebook like thank you for the follow i'm um, sorry about like the messages that pop up like you guys send me a message and like all this automated stuff happens but it's just my business page so i wish you the best from my house to yours under 10 minutes this time thank you thank you for following my two-year journey and i'll pop in every now and again it's just whatever. So, uh, yeah, have yourself a beautiful, beautiful end of the summer. 
my time's coming. It's almost fall. And uh, yeah, be good, be well, be safe, be smart. Mwah. Bye.